I feel that I'm at a point in my life when I question uh, a lot of things and it pretty much encompasses all areas in my life so I don't know, I question a lot of my views about relationships with people and how I relate to people and what I give and what I get from it and all sorts of things. A lot changed in my life <laughs> recently. Uh, yeah, it was just like a cascade of changes. You're entering a different phase, mentally but also very much physically when you're pregnant and I think it's always a good preparation for what's to come because the life changes so incredibly. It's, it's like, I don't know, being born again. <laughs> it's maybe the wrong expression, but it does feel like it. You, you are, you're starting a new life. I moved out of my parents' house, but I was still quite close in the same area, you know. So it, I just had to go abroad before I felt I was outside of this uh, glass jar full of protection and love and acceptance and everything. And in a way it was a shock. Yeah, that, well, actually there are people who don't care <laughs> about me that mm. much. I recently I've discovered that I'm actually happy with my life. Like for the past years I didn't really think about it but I often felt unhappy and that there was something wrong. And right now I'm just really happy with who I am. I'm very comfortable with myself. I know what I want. But I don't need other people to be happy. I just sort of need to change what goes on in my brain. All the films you watch are about single people and then they find someone and they're so happy and I thought, well, maybe I'm unhappy because I'm single. So I sort of started associating um, singleness with being unhappy. I remember myself being single a really long time ago and I remember hating it. So I just have this terrible fear of being single and I think that's also why I need to get rid of it. Some people feel, feel better in relationships and some don't. Everyone's different. What does marriage mean to you? Um, well, nothing. <laughs> you find that romance has to be without these sanctioned yeah, legal issues around it? Well, it's just some paper you sign, and that's it. I guess marriage is important in some aspects. Like if something happens to your partner, you can like, um, go and see them in the hospital and so on. It's probably good for tax breaks as well. I guess it is kind of important. Yeah, I think it's it's really important to some people and from practical reasons, which you mentioned, I can see a reason for it, but I'm not, like, personally, I'm not too bothered about it. I like to have kids. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think I would, although with me, my attitude towards whether I want children quite kind of varies. I have this feeling that, yes, I'm I'm ready. Then I got this feeling that, oh, actually, no, no, I don't want any children. I want to do so many things. I, I feel so good uh, when I'm independent. When I was starting my PhD, I had this plan that I would do my PhD and I would work for a year and then I'm going to have a baby. Um, but this was what I thought three years ago and that this was what I completely don't think this way. I know about people who I don't know, had to leave their careers because they had, they had kids or who felt that they could not have kids because they had to have a career. A lot of people, when I got a child, were stressing out that I will become a mother who sits at home and will not do her career. And that was not liberating at all for me. That felt quite oppressive. You have to want it, um, I think, before you decide to have children. I think that's the only guideline, really, and otherwise, yeah, if you feel like it, then, then I think it's great to just do it. I just really hate it when people say, well, mothers say to their children, I sacrificed my career for you. That's a horrible thing to say. Yeah, especially because those kids really don't have much of a say in it. They cannot say, no, uh, you know, you can keep your career, uh, I'll be fine <laughs> on my own in my crib, <laughs> you know? I think there is uh, nothing wrong with traditional gender roles and um, yeah, to be honest, I 
quite like this idea of, you know, there is this happy woman who cooks and cleans and takes care of the babies and, and, and doesn't have to work and everything is taken care of and a man who has a successful career and she's supportive of his career. What, what annoys me in society is that this model or this ideal is being frowned upon very much. I might be slightly more critical of the traditional gender roles. The problem there is with the traditional ones is that they're, they are easier to fall into. You guys don't know to what extent people actually have this conscious choice or to what extent they just follow whatever their parents and grandparents and whoever did before. But someone may be comfortable in their non-traditional gender roles or traditional gender, gender roles and they uh, it's not because they they follow the the trend, mm. but they just you know they just like as I like wearing blue. I think gender roles are a lot of crap. <laughs> I think it really doesn't make make any sense that just because you're one gender and not another, you should assume a certain role in society. I had this experience that I met this girl at the party and she looked yeah, like uber masculine. She had like um, you know, very short hair, she, she dressed like a boy and I thought she was gay and then she started touching this, this man and I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> I think for me the key is um, yeah, your free will, your consent, whatever you want to do with your life. You should just yeah, find people that match your desires, whose desires you can make come true. What I look for in friendship is, is connection, and just, just this feeling that um, that I can understand the other person and they can understand me. And it doesn't have to be agreeing about things all the time, and it doesn't have to be, I don't know, flattering in any way. It doesn't have to be any of that, but just we can meet and, and talk about important things. I think it is important to have some person you can trust, some person you can... Um... You know, you you know will help you when you need help. When I look in the mirror, I see a girl. I'm usually critical of this girl and I'm still learning how to appreciate her. But once I learn this, I may start to see a fully mature woman in the mirror. When I look in the mirror, I see a fabulous person with kick-ass glasses. When I look in the mirror, I see something different each time. I'm always looking for something specific and often I find it. When I look in the mirror, I see a woman in the making. <laughs>